Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you OEE monitoring system using Google Sheets and ESP8266. This is my experimental only. Hmm. Maybe this is can be as alternative for OEE monitoring system. Let's get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you. OEE monitoring system using Node-RED, Google Sheets as database and dashboard and ESP8266 as IoT device. This is the concept. I put some relays in machine for get machine status, such as status start, status downtime, output counting, and defect counting. They all connected to ESP8266. I need MQTT broker for transmitting the message. ESP device read signal from relays and publish the message to MQTT broker based on relays condition. As subscriber, Node Red will receive MQTT message and record data to Google Sheets based on type of received message. All data recorded in Google Sheet is the database. I separate into some sheets based on type of data. And I created a simple OEE dashboard in Google Sheets, so we can view the OEE status as real-time in Google Sheets. This is wiring for ESP8266. I use buttons as relay simulation. Button start for calculating loading time, button stop to calculating downtime, button output for counting output, and button defect for counting defect. The ESP device connects to internet via Wi-Fi and connect to MQTT broker. This is OEE dashboard in Google Sheets. Simple dashboard to show OEE status, such as machine information, machine status, off, run, or stop, total loading time, total operation time, total output, total defect, and OEE component, availability, performance, and quality ratio. And this is node red flow to receive message from MQTT broker and record data into Google Sheets. I use Google Sheet module, you can watch my previous video, how to use Google Sheets module in Node-RED. Now, let's see how this system works. When I press the start button, status machine become run. You can see on the dashboard, and it's starting to calculating loading time, value on availability gauge will be increasing. When I press the output button, data output will be recorded, and it count the total output. You can see, value on performance gauge is increasing when I press the output button several times. When I press the defect button, it will record defect quantity, value on quality gauge will decrease. When I press the stop or downtime button, machine status becomes stop. It is recording the downtime. And, you can see value on availability gauge will be decreasing.
Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, and subscribe my channel. See you on my next video.